you with your agenda could be in this position of possibly being, probably being the next prime minister. Is there anything in the model of how you've managed to do this that is replicable, do you think? Or is it totally well, specific? The financial crash happened in 2008 and uh, there was some public ownership of the banking system and there was a bailout there. The problem was that bailout was then paid for by eight years of austerity. We challenged that in the 2017 election. Everybody said, you can't do that. You've got to have austerity. People have got to suffer in order to pay off the debt created by the banking crisis. And we said, no, what has to be done is a better control system in place to prevent it happening again. But above all, that you can't cut your way to prosperity. You invest your way to prosperity. And between 2000 and 15 and 2017 support for the Labour Party grew massively in the election and we ended up, yes we didn't quite win the election in 2017 but a manifesto that was transformative actually gained an awful lot of support and our economic conference we're at today is about the values and the ideas and the inspiration of lots of people at the, um, in communities. And what we're now doing is a uh, long series mm. of local community meetings. So you take a town, take a city and say, you know, we lost our steel industry, we lost this manufacturing plant, we lost that. What do we need? Nearly always they say they need better communications, either digital, railway or road and they need the opportunity to invest for the future and use the skills that are there. So it's a bottom-up plan. Of course, there are going to be complications and contradictions within it, but we also have the national framework, the National Investment Bank, Regional Investment Bank, and a national education service. So education stops being a commodity to be bought and sold. It's there as a right, just like healthcare.